Today I'm going to show you how to live stream and film from anywhere at any time. It's... You hear that? Uh oh No! No! Alright, you got me. It's just a green screen. Chances are if you just started your YouTube channel, you don't live in a gigantic mansion where you have hundreds of rooms to choose from that you can film your YouTube videos in. Or it's possible that you have somebody living in your household that would really rather you not filming in the house. All of these things, I think, are things that new YouTubers run into all the time, and I was no different. Today I'm gonna to show you how to film on a cheap, portable green screen using OBS, so that you can basically look like you're filming from anywhere you want, even in the smallest corner of your house. And all of this stuff you can put away so it doesn't clutter up your house or anything like that. It's really easy. I think you're gonna love the solution, so let's get to it. All right, so here we are in OBS, and the first thing we're going to do is create a new scene for our green screen. So you wanna click the little plus button at the bottom of the scenes window, put in the name of your scene. We're gonna call this scene green screen. Now we're gonna go into the screens window and we're going to add a video capture device. This should be the camera that you're going to be using for your broadcast or for your video. We're gonna call it capture, select my device and I'm gonna preset it to high. So it fits the whole screen automatically. And next we're gonna add an audio device. And for this, we're gonna use the device off my camera as well. So I click the little plus button and I select audio input capture. I name my input capture here, cap card. Then I select cam link, which is where the camera audio is coming from and I click okay. So now we have video and audio in our scene. So here's where there's some things you should know about the green screen. This is a portable green screen. You can get it really cheap on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Basically to set this up, I don't have any big setups or anything like that. I have a folding chair with a box on it that wedges the green screen in between the box and the ceiling. It's really that simple. Now, one of the things that I really love about OBS is how forgiving it's green screen setup capture stuff is. If you've ever done green screen keying work in Premiere Pro or anything like that, you know that if you don't have your green screen lit just right, it's just a nightmare. OBS green screen application is actually really forgiving, but you do wanna make sure that you properly light your green screen. The best way to do this if you're working with a small space is to just use natural light to light you, the subject, and then use another light up against the green screen to light the green screen. The main issue here is that you do not want your shadows to be casting on the green screen. In my case, I'm in a studio environment where I don't have any external lighting at all. So I light myself from the left corner and the right corner and then I put a light right at the bottom of the green screen shining up directly. The main key is that you want your green screen to be lit evenly all the way across or as evenly as you can possibly get it. But the beautiful thing about OBS is that it's very forgiving if you don't have optimal lighting setup. So let me show you how you do this. You right click on your camera and you click filters. Then in effect filters, click the little plus and select chroma key. You can name it whatever you want or don't. It doesn't really matter. And here you see that it automatically blacks out the background. You don't see anything there because I didn't put an image in there yet. But as you can see, it pretty much does the job right from the start. So let's close this and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add an image file. And that looks like a nice one. And we'll just adjust it to where we want it. And then we're going to use these little down arrows to move it below our video capture and boom. There you can see that my background is already set up. Of course, there are these lines where the green screen ends. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to cut that out. The way to do this is to go ahead and right click on your camera, go to filters again, click the little plus button, and we're going to go to crop slash pad. You can name this whatever you want or just leave it. So in crop and pad, I just go to left and I increase this number until I eliminate the area not covered by the green screen on the left. And then I do the same thing on the right. And I'm gonna crop it a little bit on the top here as well. And now you can see the image covers the rest of the screen. I'm green screened in the middle and it looks pretty good with no tweaking whatsoever. 
Now, if you end up having to clean up your mat, go into filters, select your green screen, and play around with the settings until you get the look that you're looking for. But like I said, the green screen function on OBS is very forgiving about your lighting setup. You don't have to mess with it all that much to get it to look adequate. You certainly couldn't say this about using the Ultra Key on Premiere Pro or any other green screening program. If you end up having a lot of problems with it not green screening out properly, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and just change your lighting a little bit to try to take away any shadows that you're casting on your green screen background and you should be just fine. If you want to learn how to record videos using OBS, go ahead and check this video out right here. Or if you just want to see a video YouTube recommends, you can check this one out right here. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And thank you so much for watching. Go film something awesome today. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.